there always have been renouncers. People, men and women, who left the householder stage. Who really abandoned the conventional life and they wander around in the mountains and in the forests. Those who, who dropped out and acted or lived a life of ecstasy at the margins of society as many sadhus or yogis do now. My name is Swami Vidyanand Swarup Brahmachari. I've been a yogi for 35 years. My whole life is devoted to seeking oneness with God. The difference between a yogi and a, an ordinary person is that the yogi f takes full responsibility for the wholeness of the human being, including the spiritual dimension. Yoga is very popular today. What is its true purpose? It is a sacred science, a path to know the inner self. Yoga is so much more than just postures. They are only one part of yoga. Today, there are 15 million yogis in India. To us, yoga is our whole life. Yoga encompasses many ways to reach oneness with the divine. Many Westerners practice just a sliver of this living tradition. What can Westerners learn from us, the yogis of India? We live just as the ancient mystics did 5,000 years ago. Yoga was passed down by our forefathers through scriptures, songs and fables. Yoga means to join, yoke, to link with the divine. We leave the world to do this. We give up everything. My whole work over the past 30 years uh, has been talking about the missing link in Western yoga. And uh, what was eliminated was the core of the yogic tradition in order to make yoga palatable to Western audiences. And that core is a spiritual core. It's really the very essence of yoga uh, in terms of our path to inner freedom, inner peace, happiness. By leaving society, the yogi surrenders totally to God. He is protected and sheltered. In India, it's acceptable to drop out, to renounce the world and devote your life completely to this inner quest. The yogis of India embody a 5,000-year-old tradition. We are the bearers of an unbroken lineage. Yoga, passed on by our gurus. We roam the subcontinent in search of enlightenment. The rishis created yoga to become one with God and reach samadhi, ultimate bliss. To do this, they practice jnana yoga meditation. So we do prayers to make the mind peaceful. After praying, we meditate. Yoga is union of our souls with God, and there are many ways to do this. Yet when your heart is truly pure, everything becomes yoga. In the yogic traditions, the goal is to discover our true being, we call it the ultimate reality, the transcendental self. The yogis have specialized in methods 
and in approaches that allow us to discover that in a single lifetime.